This week on TBSW episode 107, we're talking about pole dancing for kids, burial pods, quick math questions, gypsies, and Lego Braille. Stick, Stick around. around. The B-Side Word. Welcome to the B-Side Word. We are a group of friends from around the world where we share our thoughts and opinions on interesting articles. I am Devin and I'm here with Emma. Hey. I'm here with CJ. Hello. And I'm here with Alex. Ahoy. All right. Uh, I just want to um, start the uh, episode by saying um, that uh, yes. I'm getting... I'm getting old. old. Okay, why? Uh, because I was uh, I was just in the car, and I had my music at the appropriate level, right? <laughs> yeah. And um, appropriate, yeah. I pulled up to the red lights, and it was like it was just you just hear the traffic, right? Plus the radio. I forgot that young people love to have their music loud, and this kid next to me must have put must have have like a hell of a system. Cause he turned up his radio, uh, his system all the way up, and his car was shaking from the from the base, and my car was shaking from the base. <laughs> it was unbelievable, right? I'm like, and I'm like, it took me back to my days of having my car and the system I put in there, and how much it hurt my ears. It must have hurt my ears, cause this guy wasn't even flinching at how loud his music was. If it could go louder, he would have put it louder. Because he was like, he was in his own world and he's just like, it. Like for me, it's not even enjoyable. The music doesn't seem enjoyable. Because like all his, <laughs> I'm like, shit, it is loud. Anyway. That is such an old man rant. It uh, is. I like my music loud still. Emma does me, like the me, music loud. Me too. Like, like that loud. Like to the point yeah. where it distorts. Yeah, like there's metal. There's like my mints. My mints thing will shake. Zzz, zzz. <laughs> me too. Like my me, me, me too. Text message. Me too. <laughs> the, the, the only thing is, like last night I had, I am. Um, I'm still not a player. Came on. Yeah. I'm, and I'm pumping it on you. Yeah. Yeah. A bit, of, yeah. A, a, a bit of fat Joe, and I'm like, you know, rocking. Yeah. And then people and other people's music is crap. Yeah, I'm with you, CJ. But I have always been respectful, though, of like residential areas or our street. Like, so if I'm in, like, if I'm pulling into the street, I'll turn it down because I don't want the rest of the neighbors to hear what I'm hearing. You know? Oh, I'll do. I'll do that for my street. Yeah. Fuck every. Fuck everyone else. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. Just my street, really. Yeah. <laughs> or unless I'm like so pulling just... up to someone's house, someone else's house. Yeah. Oh yeah. And it's just making me realise how long it's been since I've since I've been in a car. You know? <laughs> oh yeah! Oh. Wait, when? But, did... you, but but you can't fit. <laughs> when was the last time you have actually been in a car? So the last time I would have been in a car would have been when I went to see mum and dad back in August. Okay. And then before that, a year before that, when I went to see them again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but 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 now, do you have to use a convertible? <laughs> so you, you, you can put the roof out or if the roof, roof is so down it's fit. okay it will just like go out and mold to his head because it's soft isn't it like <laughs> and you, you like have to that. wear like a bandana on your face so you don't get bugs what, like what just happened what, what's happening what's happening <laughs> we just you just back <laughs> do we all remember my friend from work Hazel yes She's my friend that put in with the, 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 what was it? The ticket? Speed. Speeding. Speed eyes. Speed. I have eyes that caught you. Yeah. My so eyes caught you. She, um, she, she tagged me in a post the other day and she was just like, what the actual is this? I had a look. So pole dancing, there's many pole dancing classes around, um, now <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this is something I've seen a lot of over the years. <laughs> huh? I've seen a lot of pole dancing over the years. Well, I can these, tell a good pole dancing okay, place. Okay, there's a many pole dancing. Just by the, the not ones. clubs, 
but places where you can learn how to pole dance. I think it's used for fitness, right? Right. Fitness, yeah. yeah. There's pole, one pole actually fitness. fairly, there's a couple, but there's one close to us, right? And this particular one is now offering kids pole dancing lessons for, for ages 4 to 12 years old. That sounds wrong. Four uh, to for, twelve for years boys old. as well. Don't think so. Just I mean, f- just for girls. I look. I I looked at their website and they didn't specify. So I guess boys could go, but all the pictures so were on. girls. So uh, if if I had a daughter, I could take her there, and then when when she gets older, she can just graduate straight to the strip joint. This is what uh, I, so, I thought. Yeah, That's uh, what I thought. So I so I right. I can understand that in terms of where do you see poles, but I would argue there are more people doing pole fitness than there are strippers using poles mm. in, in strip clubs. So I, I'm mm. I'm fine with separating those two things out. Like I'm yeah. absolutely fine with that. The kids thing, again, I can, I'm, I'm fine with it if we're in a society where we do separate those two things out. But if it's a girls only kids thing, that's yeah. weird. That's weird. But that's what makes it weird. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't specify that it was girls only. Because CJ, have you ever tried to do what the strippers do? I've tried to Not do strippers, strippers, <laughs> the pole dancers. Have you ever tried to do what the pole dancers try to do? Dude, I'm a pretty big guy, man. Yeah, but before, in, in your life, my... in your life, because you, you, you weren't always big. You were pretty athletic back in your day. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, have you ever tried to like do the like you know the flagpole? You know how you um, uh, do you know what I'm talking about? The when the human the flag. flag? Have so you ever hard. tried to do that? Oh yeah. That looks hard. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But the I, uh, but women I, I do that. Cool like training. there is there are pole pole dancers. Uh, a pole dancers is that what we call them? Mm-hmm. That they they do that. They they it's like a lot of upper strength. It's a lot of core work. It's like I can see it. It's a fitness thing, right? Oh, there's a boy in here. I'm not saying some of these young ladies are extremely fit. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying anything about it. But pole dancing has like a bit of a sexy kind of thing. It does. It It does. Like, it's a kind of thing, like if your wife does it, (laughs) you know, you you might be getting some, a a bit of a dance in the boudoir. In the boudoir. Later on. Yeah. I I think it's just association. I think we're just, we're so conditioned to associate the two together. Yes. 100%. 100%. 100%. So see, uh, if, if I, if <laughs> There's if no I doubt. Married and, my, and my wife was doing pole dancing, yeah. I'm expecting a little bit of a show later on. This is the thing that <laughs> I think about. Okay. So if it's like you said, if uh, like there's people that I know that have done pole dancing classes as well for fitness, but they're already adults. Therefore, they've already got a job. They've already blah, 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 blah. And they're literally doing this for fitness. If I feel like if kids are getting into this from four to 12 years old, They'll continue, but they'll probably be very good by the time they're like teenagers, right? They'll probably, if they've been doing it, they'll be very good. I feel like, especially in at that age where it's all about trying to impress the other sex or whatever, they might be more tempted to actually go and work their stuff in a club because they're so good at it. Can, can, can we look uh, up I've, what the what the so, so, um, so what, you're, what you're say, saying is what their mission statement is? is uh, 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 the stripper pole dancing quality is going to go up exponentially. <laughs> <laughs> if that's the case, C- I am full CJ, this class. CJ, they're four no. to twelve. Of they're course, four to 12. of course, I'm they're saying it, it's good for core strength, blah blah blah, and fitness. That that's obviously what they say, and that is true. But I do, there's something about it that I just I, yeah. I feel. think what um Alex, uh, Alexander brought it up. It's the association. That it's completely with, the association. With, um, but that's but what like, I like. All right, so I this I'm gonna make a comparison that is wild, so just be prepared for that. But is that right. not in somewhat way kind of similar to saying every kid who plays a sport is then going to become an athlete when they're older? No, but a lot like, of people that if, play no, no, but a lot of people that play sports do go on to continue playing sports when they're older in a team, let's say. Yes, yeah, but you can do don't pole play fitness sports, when you're a kid and don't then do F- pole like, fitness when you're an adult without being a stripper. Like you yes, don't have yeah. to. It's not the only avenue to do pole fitness. That's what I'm saying. Is, There's more no, people I understand probably that. doing it outside than What inside. I'm thinking of is if you've seen young girls, and I've seen lots of them in school or whatever, 
they are already doing all these TikTok dances, all like already dressing up older than they are, makeup tutorials, blah, 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 blah. Teenage years, they're into the other sex, blah, blah, blah. If they're like great at these pole moves, I feel like they're going to want to show wait, it what off. Po- what pole moves are they good at? What, uh, what are they teaching in them? Are they teaching them how to climb a pole? Yeah. They're not teaching them how to like do the stripper moves. They wouldn't do it in the tiny, tiny shorts that the adults do it in. No, 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 not, not the outfits. I'm no. saying the actual move. Like, is it the... No, they'll do <laughs> similar the, They'll do similar not moves. Not the glitter. Not the glitter. Look, the, the... I'll show you. Ready? There's some gallery. I, 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 this is the particular class I was talking about. Um, it just, well, it just they have creepy. They have videos of kids doing these pole dancing. Yeah. Oh, dear. God, but, that's just creepy. No, but they're just doing... It's like a simple video, like simple moves the, or whatever. Uh, that is not like a pedophile's record. And they have pole for curves. I was like, oh, okay. Um, that's kind of cool. But um, What are you talking about? Like, <laughs> Did you say they have like, poles for the curves? These are the types of I stuff think... that they are doing when they're, oh, really? when they're adults. Oh, yeah, but adults. I'm talking about when yes, they're Yes, but obviously they, they, they oh. once they get to a certain age. Because I had a look at o- but, other people's pole dancing schools and there's quite a lot that say minimum age 16 right okay so but when you i'm just going back to this idea that they'll graduate into this age of wanting to impress the other sex and as you've already pointed out like they they already do this like i don't understand how the poll is going to make a difference to this whether they have a poll or not, they can still get online and put videos out or do whatever they want anyway. Oh yeah, that's beside that's yeah, that's a different topic. Like, of course they'll do that. Still, they'll still do that. But I'm saying specifically related to polls. Like, let's say you have, <laughs> for instance, a lot of kids, right? Yeah. That were dancers growing up went on to become dancers on the podiums in clubs. Yeah. Right, because they were good. When at you it. say a lot, what like again? What are we? <laughs> okay. like, I feel like it's a minority, like yeah, an extreme I don't, minority. I think the percentage, but but look, what are you saying? Do we you shouldn't get into mean? dancers dancing. No, no, I'm definitely not saying that. I have no problem with dancers on podiums. Like they're just dancing because they're good at it. Like, they're but good th- at that's it. Like I think Alexander she has a problem with she has a problem with strippers. Forefront and but how about if um so how about the dancing now is like like Cardi being that. Yeah. And they see Cardi B and they start dancing like that. Is mm. that worse or is pole dancing worse? Well, Cardi B was a stripper. Uh, that bad, bad, uh, that's a bad uh, example. Yeah, and, yeah uh, I, I was going to say it. Meg Thee Stallion. Pick. She, she wasn't. <laughs> yeah, well, Nicki Minaj. Well, she, she wasn't. Yeah, Nicki Minaj. No, no, no. I, I don't quite know how I feel about this. There's just one slight. I don't think I'd put my daughter into pole dancing and mm. it's just because of that weird association and weird thing about it but that's just me i yeah. guess that's on me no, i get it but yeah, it, would, get it. It, it would feel creepy yeah i think yeah. Uh, I, I i would i would definitely want some like vet where if i was ever going to do it i'd vet where they were going for example and this is i don't care how prejudiced it is if there was a male instructor 100 percent wouldn't put my girl in that class yeah 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 just <laughs> yeah i am not yeah I you can never be too sure with something like that yeah <laughs> you can't you, you're right you gotta like and i just think yeah I, I guess i was surprised i am surprised by the age four to twelve because i was like is this quite a common thing but there are others that say like minimum age is so, there a lot of backlash from this well it popped up on facebook and it was the local one what is so your what know. does your friend say she was like, hell no. What world are we living in now? I'm not putting my my daughter in That's this. That's the problem as well. The world we're living in now. That's the, like, it's it's got to the point where um, when we, when you take, <laughs> remember when um, you have your first day of school when you're in primary school, right? Your, 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 your parents are so proud of you. They take a photo of you and what year you're in. Mm. And then like they, they save it, right? Mm. But now people put it on Facebook. They're telling us to blur out the emblem mm. of your school kids. Yeah. Because of the world we live in now. Mm. Okay. I, I mind st- why are people putting pictures up of their kids yeah. on Facebook? I do. You're talking to the wrong people. So yeah. <laughs> Everyone does. Okay. Most parents do. No, 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 no. no. Like, it, it's, but it's your Facebook it's not account, public. right? Yeah, it's not public. It's just for my friends. Like a, a creepy person could find it. 
Yeah, that's what they, that's what they're saying. They should blur it out. They blur, should blur, blur out the school, the, um, the school uniform so they can't. They don't know where, what school like, they go to. Personally, I don't have kids, but personally, if I did have kids, and this is nothing, it's just my the way I would, I wouldn't put my kids on the internet. Yeah. yeah, because if I wanted to share those pictures with someone, I would share those pictures with that person. I don't yeah. like. Yeah. Th- yeah. There's no one that i have on social media yeah i understand that. yeah yeah i get that uh, yeah like, like, like if, if if the boys were doing something funny right like say playing basketball or something i said take a couple of pictures and send them to me yeah all right i wouldn't go say put them on facebook so i can see them yeah no i get you you know I what i mean you. i get you. i but mean it was most before... people do put pictures of their kids on the internet like that's just sort of, it's normal at this yeah point. but i'm saying it was before just... it was before there was um i don't know i think um it was before when it was okay when the internet was still at its infancy, you know what I mean? It was like we Mate, can do this; it's it okay. Never, it was never, it was never okay. What do you mean? Yeah, it, the internet's rapidly changed. So you yeah, yeah, it's changed from what you know it is like what it is now to when we when we first went on the internet when we were on. Well, the we internet. were older. We were older as well. So who's gonna like wanna? Well, you know, we we're at this, at the age where we were on the internet. We were old enough to know what's stupid and what's not. Well, how old were we? 15, 16? Oh, we didn't know shit. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't know yes, shit. Yes, but like, <laughs> it, it, okay, if some creepy dude was trying to get us out of a house. Yeah. Prime age. Not to go. This is the wrong place to do it. <laughs> the suburb we were in, it's the wrong place to pick up a kid. Because you get shot. You probably get shot. Everyone would get him. Everyone would get him. It is the wrong yeah. place. <laughs> Anyways, I have something else to say. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, old fella. I went to the barber and I was sitting down and uh, I was waiting for Wait, my... when was this? Uh, three weeks ago. Oh, okay. And I was waiting for my normal barber and I get a pretty, pretty simple haircut. <laughs> Is his name Ali? No, no, it's a... Uh, no, no. It's a... Uh, anyways. <laughs> and my haircut is a zero all over. Pretty simple. <laughs> Right, pretty. You can't, you can't get it stuffed up. And the only reason why I go to the barber is because it gets too long, and I don't want to c- cut it at home. Like I, I always plan to cut it every week to keep it short, but life gets in the way, and then I end up waiting six weeks, and then he gets long. Anyways, I'm waiting for this barber, my normal barber, and this old man. There's another. There's a barber in there. He's an old man, and he finishes up with his client, and his client seems happy. And then he looks at me and he goes, do you, want a, do you want a haircut? And I said, do you want a haircut from me? That's what he said. And I said, yeah, 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 no worries. I didn't pay attention to how he was cutting the previous hair, right? So in the mirror, I see this, this hand turn on the, the clippers and he's getting closer to my head and he's shaking. Oh! He's shaking. So he this this guy must have been 88. And he's shaking. And I'm in my head, I go, it's a zero. It's a zero. It's a zero. That's what I'm thinking. He grabs his other hand and he holds his hand still. <laughs> and he starts to cut it, right? He's cut, start cutting my hair. And I'm thinking, you know what? Uh, it's, it'll grow back. It'll grow back. Uh, even if it's uneven, it'll grow back. At the end of the haircut, it is the evenest zero haircut I've ever, ever had. He wow. is unreal. So even the pressure was even all the way over my head. It wasn't too hard. It wasn't too soft. It was the best haircut I've ever, ever had, right? But I was freaking out. I was freaking out when I saw this shaking hand coming towards my head. I was like, oh, shit. Did he have to go 200 the whole time? He did. He did. Wow. Just He did. Just for my clarification, when you say zero, you mean like a half? Yeah, yeah. Cause, that, yeah. Oh, right, because yeah. when you were we, saying... We zero. All right, when you were saying zero, I'm like, that's bold. Like, yeah, how, yeah. Got, it's, it's got to be half. It's, got, it's half, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you say uh, zero see, see, or do you say half? Because I say zero... Because they know it is zero, but they yeah. they just know without any um guards. See, I'm, just, a bla- yeah. I, 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 I'm a blade. Yeah, you're a blade. Yeah, yeah. that's different. I wouldn't I wouldn't yeah. ask for a blade cut from him. <laughs> Why not? Oh no no no! I, I was gonna say, double to your barber. I'll get a blade cut. We'll find out how many nicks in my head I get. <laughs> 
do you um is that scary getting a blade cut it would be if the guy's hand was shaking <laughs> wait does it hurt you especially when it does my neck i'll be shitting myself <laughs> does it hurt i'm actually intrigued no no hurt. it actually is really it's really relaxing yeah because yeah. they, they get a they really get, like, hot the hot towel t- they, they, they get a hot towel they massage it on your head yeah, soften your skin then they get the um yeah, then they get the cream, cream. and they rub it in. Yeah. And they it's an experience. Soften. It's a good, like, it's you. Have you had it? Pe- yeah. You've had a black? Yeah, I've had yeah. it one time. And then, then he gets, like, the belt and he does the whole... Sh- yeah. Sh- it's cool. <gasps> yeah. Dev, you put this article and it's about, I guess, life after death. It's not life after death at all. It's how we bury our dead, basically. Yes. Now, traditional methods are coffin or cremation. There is people in the world trying to do green green burials, I guess they call them. So there's this one design which was made by Jennifer de Bruyne, which is an associate professor. And oh, sorry, no. The designers were Raoul Bretzel and Anna Citelli. Okay, now they have designed a world capsule called Capsula Mundi. That's what it means. It's an egg-shaped biodegradable burial pod. It kind of looks like when you get a Kinder egg, Kinder surprise, a Kinder surprise, and you've eaten the chocolate and you get that plastic egg. Yeah. It basically looks like that, but it's biodegradable plastic and they've only started them for cremated uh, ash, but they will be making some big enough to fit the actual person and they would put the person in the fetal position inside this egg. What they do is they bury it and then they plant a sapling on top of it and the plastic biodegrades and then the remains provide nutrients for the tree this is a great idea i love it i think Fuck, it, I, I don't want to be I, I don't want to be tree food <laughs> no you are the tree you become the tree well you you, no, I, I mean, you provide I the nutrients the food. yeah you provide- and then and then you can put like in love heart cj Oh, you carve it. No. You can carve it on you the tree. Dead. <laughs> no, not you. So you, you <laughs> your loved ones will carve your name in the tree. You don't like it, CJ. So what they're saying is, when you no. when you rest in peace, the the wood, the cushions, the cushioning, the metals, the concrete reinforced in the grave, some of the graves, all contribute to pollution pollution still mm. um wood wood still uh i thought wood would uh, deteriorate it takes a long time plus your body's inside it so that's not really it's going to take so long to fully decompose and blah, blah blah plus making the materials for them as well a lot of energy and they're saying that it's it's such a short amount of time and then it's buried so it's very um like the way we live now. I just- said, I, I've always said when I, um, if I don't get cremated, I just want a normal, like a plain wooden box, right? No cushioning inside and no handles on the outside. Why no handles? So when you lift me um, up, you'll we, remember me. How are we going to, how are we going to carry you, yeah, man? Yeah, you're going to remember me because <laughs> it's going to be I, hard. I, 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 I've already got a, I already had a hernia. I don't want to get another one. It's going to be really hard. <laughs> I was going to say, what about the alternative? I'd be, cur- I'd be cursing you all the way down like this dickhead. The <laughs> tied ass bastard couldn't put fucking handles on his coffin. What a dickhead. <laughs> if he was still alive, I would fucking kill him. <laughs> what about the, the next step in the extreme? Just do away with the box. Just put the body in the ground. They do have those. Do they're they? at, yeah, yeah, they do. Oh. They actually have um, scientific, I guess, like experiments and people donate themselves for when they die to be placed there and they they experiment with um, if they dig a, a deep grave, a shallow grave, um, sometimes no grave and they just 
put like leaves and stuff around them, how long the body takes to decompose, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, Do they the, have clothes? No clothes. I think they're just wrapped in like sh- like shroud type stuff. I'm not sure, oh. or maybe they don't. Mummified. I I've watched a documentary about it. I can't remember. <laughs> um, you got I'll me with the that's... like. Yeah, go on. Got. I was gonna say that just feels like the most natural way. Yeah. To bury someone. Yeah. 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 Well, these these designers, their goal was to create cemeteries full of trees rather than tombstones. I, I actually like and it and reduce the waste. I like it, and um, I think, I think I'd like that. I like that. You come to what? my. You you have to keep coming to my tree to water it. You know what I mean? Mm. Piss on your tree after you didn't put <laughs> handles in your fucking. Don't. <laughs> I don't think you need to water trees. Or when it's really small. When it's a sapling still. It's just small. Someone did say, someone said they should plant bigger you. trees on it because, uh, anyway, that's just getting into the nitty gritty. They're like, saplings are nice, but they should plant a little bit bigger. Anyway, oh. uh, there's apparently been a lot of interest in green burials in the last couple of years. People are sort of looking into them more and seeing. But here's a fun fact. Go on. Did you know that older dental fillings can release mercury into the soil. So quite so uh, some crematoriums have now installed mercury filters. I don't there understand you go. Yeah, why why is, is that is I don't mercury's understand is it bad good That's what, what? bad. That's bad. Mercury mercury's is no good. Poison. Mercury is poisonous. That's why you can people can get mercury poisoning from eating too much of certain types of fish. Fish. Yeah, right. But yeah. I guess the filters, if you're cremated and you have fillings, maybe the, the, they don't go down into the rest of the ashes, maybe. I'm not sure. Hmm. Uh, Alexander, are you, uh, are you, do you like this idea of um, a pod, being a pod and then being um, tree food? Have a look at the, I don't yeah. know if you've got the article, but have a look what they look like there. I, I haven't. But did, but did, 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 did you know what's unfair? Alexander's tree is going to be so much taller than everyone else's. <laughs> <laughs> They'd have to make I mean, what it doesn't matter. You won't... <laughs> I wonder how they would move the pod because would they just roll you? Would they roll the egg or would they like lift it somehow? <laughs> like freaking Humpty Dumpty mate just being rolled into a hole. But how do you feel about not lying down and being in the fetal position? No, I don't care. I won't I won't yeah. know. I don't like... give a shit. <laughs> I mean, I've got a Zero box of no handles. I don't care. <laughs> I've been more opposed to burials rather than cre- cremation because I, I don't like the idea of just lying in a box and then being eaten by bugs. You won't know. Shoo no. Shoo no. Maybe that's when you get over your fears. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I like it. I no, like I, I, it. I like the pod thing. It it does make me think a little matrixy. Mm. Um, no, I, I, I'm just saying uh, my tree be short and fat. <laughs> Alex, Alexander's will be tall and long. <laughs> I'm not. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. All right. Uh, have a look. I won't have much leaves on it. My tree. <laughs> have a look. <laughs> <laughs> Only. In- <laughs> have a look at the what? What is it called? What? Burial pod. Yeah, burial pod. It's called the real name for it is Capsula Mundi, but yes, it's a biodegradable burial, burial pod. pod. Check it out. I like the idea. I like it. Right, maths question. This question. This is a real quick one. This radio host got posed a question by, I guess, a listener that called up. I'm not sure. Is that I got a question for you? This is the question. See if you get the answer. If you buy a baseball bat and a baseball, and your total is one dollar ten, and the bat cost one dollar more than the ball, how much is the ball? Say it again. I got distracted. Say it again. If you buy a baseball bat. And a baseball, and your total is one dollar ten, mm-hmm. 
and the bat cost one dollar more than the ball, how much is the ball? See, this is where I'm a weird, weird human being, but Emma won't remember this, but we got asked this riddle when we were kids. What? Yeah, I, I remember. remember. Yeah, our granddad, granddad Stevens. I do not answer? remember this. What was the what's the answer? I know, I know the answer, Everyone but I'm not going to tell. I, like, let, let you get a chance to see if you can figure it out. But this is a this is a pretty common one. This one. So I ask the question again. Oh yeah, yeah. If you buy a baseball <laughs> bat and a baseball, and your total is one dollar ten. Yeah. And the bat costs Five one. Cents. The bat costs one dollar more than the ball. How much is the ball? Five cents. Bang on. I don't get it. I I said then, that I said the ball was ten cents. You can't, but but how, how can it be ten, 10 cents? cents? Then it'll be ninety cents more than the ball. Yeah. What? What? Well, no. It's it's got a cost. A, the bat's got to cost a, do, a dollar more than the ball. Than the ball, yeah. right? So if the ball costs five if, if, cents, the bat costs a dollar and dollar five and cents. Five. And their total yeah. is a dollar ten. Yeah, dollar ten. Five cents. Because if it's ten cents, if it's ten cents, right? Yeah. How do I say this? This so is this is. Cent, uh, do you want me to explain this in a very mathematical way and why mass is important to figuring things out? Do you want out? to explain it in an easy way for people? This to is understand? this is really easy from even from mathematical. This is algebra. So we know that the bat costs a dollar more, and we know the total is one ten. So the algebraic equation to figure this out is 2x plus 1 equals 1.1 or 2x plus 100 equals 110. The 1.1 mm. 1. 1 or the 110 being the total price. <laughs> you, got, you got it. <laughs> right. Can we do over. this in layman's terms? You confuse so it you with take, the 110. You take the total price, <laughs> take away the difference, and you know that between the two items, you know the difference between the two items is a dollar. That leaves mm. you with 10 cents. Yeah, so one's a dollar, one's 10 cents. No, it's no, two, no, no, two no. X equals 10 cents, right? Because the, the, the two, yeah, the, the two items are a dollar apart in price. What? See, I don't, I don't get it. See how, like, you, you know, I mean, it's do you understand five, the answer? You know how the five cents, right? Five mm. cents, it has to be a dollar more, right? Think about it. It's five cents, and the bat was a dollar and five. No, so it's but a, why? Because it's a dollar more. Because the bat costs a dollar more than the ball. Yeah. So if the if it's like, do you know what I mean? The bat doesn't cost a dollar. It costs a dollar more. Yeah. Like, do you understand the answer part? Like I the one and five. I kind of get it now that you're saying that. Because if the if the ball was ten cents, yeah. then it'd have to be a dollar twenty. Is that right? It'd have to be dollar twenty, right? Yeah, yeah dollar yeah. twenty. I think I get it now. But this more. is I'm just going to tell you. So, according to behavioral economist Daniel Kahneman, he's got a few books. Um, and this, by the way, is a very common mistake, but most people get this question wrong because we rely on intuition to problem solve and intu intuitively, it seems like the answer should be 10 cents. Apparently, more than 50% of students from the top US universities, MIT, Princeton, Harvard, get this answer wrong. And the wider population, 80% of the population, the general population get it wrong. Because you know when you asked the question and I asked you to say it so, so, three more so, so, times, I was like, it can't what you, be that what, simple. What are you saying is, <laughs> it can't I'm be that part simple. of the 20% that got it right. You are part of the 20%. Dev was listening to see what you guys no, would No, because like when you asked, because yeah. when you said the dollar ten, right? And I'm like, nah, it's wrong. Like my instant answer is wrong. You know it was wrong because I was asking, yeah. No, yeah. And yeah, I was like, because like, I was like, dollar ten. I was like, no, nah, you can't just come to that conclusion. So I asked again. This is one of those things where this is my strongest argument for why people misunderstand the importance of maths in terms of not to answer questions like this, but just, and specifically algebra, because algebra just teaches you how to problem solve, which is relevant to everything in life. Mm. And yeah. I think that's like the way, the reason why if you're good at maths, you would look at that question differently is because when you problem solve, you don't rely on intuition as much. Like, 
you try and objectively say, wait, what are all the pieces of information I actually have? Yeah. Now let's get to an answer. And you're yeah. right, Emma. I didn't Alexander. know the answer. No, I, 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 I knew you were new. You knew it can't we're be what you think. We're a little bit smarter than the common person. Otherwise, won't be asking. Yeah, <laughs> and like, because uh, when you uh, when you first asked, I was like, I wasn't paying attention. And then yeah, I said it the second time, I was like, that's the wrong answer. That's not what I'm supposed to be saying. A hundred. But what is the right one? Yeah. And I'm thinking. I'm thinking. And then CJ said five, and I went, Oh, he's got it right. Yeah. <laughs> and then it made five, sense like, to you. Oh, yeah. See, if, I, hate I, when I CJ was just gets like, it before me. Oh. I was like, ten cents. It's ten cents. And then when it was five, I was like, No, wait, what? <laughs> no. See, my brain was going ten cents. It's 90, 90 cents more. So that's be, you know. Yeah. So then I, I have to keep <laughs> See, going down thing. and down and CJ, down. CJ knows the answer, right? But he can't... Like, Alexander gave Explain the, the mathematic explanation, but CJ is just like, I feel it. It's five cents. <laughs> <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> my brain said... My brain said it's five cents. <laughs> and then if someone asks... Because I do the same thing, right? That's all I can answer. Yeah. If someone asks, how did you figure out? I go, it just is. Oh. <laughs> it just is. <laughs> it just is. <laughs> My, but I my felt brain less bad. went through pro- process. Yeah. And went, and went ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I felt less bad knowing that I'm with the other 80% of the population. You know, you know, um, you know uh, what happened in CJ's head? Mm-hmm. You know, when, um, have you seen that uh, movie where they're like uh, calculations? Algebra. And like there's all these algebra equations that <laughs> oh, go yeah, through yeah. someone's head. And then it goes, five cents. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what happened in CJ's head. Brain man over here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh. And also, I felt good knowing that the top you at like Princeton and all that, they get even only half of them get it wrong. So I've got, I've got one that I'm going to share with you that will make you feel a little bit better about yourself because you surely can't be on this level of stupidity. Uh oh. Don't do oh, it. Shit. Don't do it. Oh, no. We could easily don't be on that level of stupidity. Yeah. Easily. I don't I don't I don't know if you could be. So I've just sent a link to the group. It's a, it's a short video on Twitter that's I think a TikTok. I I don't get where these things come from. But anyway, this I just happened to catch it yesterday. It was circulating like crazy. And it's since since you caught it, why are you trying to spread it to us? Because it, Siege, it's just magical, of the level of stupidity. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Is this real? This is 100% real. If you go to the next tweet below, someone, like, there's the next video of her putting shampoo on her hair. Hold on, let me, for, for the listeners, if, if this makes the cut. This is a video of this lady who's, she's got her hair laid, which to do that, they normally use this adhesive spray to make it stay on the scalp and, and stay laid for a longer period of time so it doesn't move around and get messy, etc. <gasps> now this woman okay. ran out for, for of the, adhesive for spray. For the, for, for the follically impaired, right? Um... <laughs> Is she, did she did she like because I couldn't understand what she was saying? Did she replace hairspray with glue? She yeah. replaced her hairspray with gorilla glue spray because for some reason okay. that seemed like a good idea. <laughs> so her hair was laid permanently forever, <laughs> forever. Like, like, like from what is I heard, my forever? hair don't move. It's forever. Well, so so this is the theory, right? In the next video, you see her. She's yeah, demonstrating. We're watching it. She's now rubbed the shampoo on her hair and then she can wipe it off like clean because it doesn't get through. And you can see, <laughs> it's quite, it's kind of sad actually. You can I see know, her like almost funny. cry. Like she's yeah, like she almost that cried realization of what have I done? I want to and, see the next video now. And there is a brilliant, a brilliant part of this is in the comments to this video. Gorilla Glue official have responded. Oh, what did they say? I don't think we're used for hair. No wonder why your hair's stuck because our products are used to glue things. <laughs> <laughs> um, they say, use some rubbing alcohol, water in a spray bottle, a hairdryer and a comb. 
But since you've had it like oh that for a month, God. your hair could be damaged. It's going to take some time to come off since it's been there for a month. It, Has it been on for a month? Oh. Appa- I, I, again, these are this the context I, I don't have. I've just seen these videos, but how like it's the it's the mini cry here that gets me. Oh, I'm I'm I, it's it's. I th- you feel bad. I feel bad. But I feel bad. Come so. on, I don't. Like I, know. Glue. I I don't feel bad. <laughs> Do you know what? If you're that stupid to put freaking super glue in your hair, you don't deserve to have hair. I mean, when you have a gorilla, uh, have you? G- gorilla's grips are unbreakable. Oh man! Do, does, like, does, does that make you feel less? The stupid? gorilla <laughs> glue. I don't think we're used. If we're used for hair. Yeah. That's what... <sighs> oh. No wonder why your so hair is if, stuck. So if if. If at any time you're feeling like you're a bit of an idiot in life, just just watch that video. It should, uh, <laughs> should perk oh. you up. Oh wow! I just googled to see if like there was like an update on her. I just googled super glue hair, thinking obviously it would be her. Um, yeah. First of all, the people ask thing. There's what happens if you put super glue on your hair? How do you get medical super glue out of your hair? What do you do if you get glue in your hair? Can you use <gasps> Gorilla Glue on hair? So clearly this is common. So common, oh. in fact, the very first result is Loctite products and Loctite make super glue with how to get super glue out of your hair. No, The fact that no, they no. even have an article for this on their website. <laughs> no, 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 no. I no. like it. No, no. The only way I can see this becoming a bit of an issue is if you're not paying attention and you grab the wrong bottle of spray and you spray it. Right? Why is super glue in your bath thing? Like, why are you like putting it with <laughs> your hair products? For some reason, something was you needed a glue, some kind of drawer, or some shit, and you've put it in there, and you haven't, you've not put it away, right? And you and you're not paying attention, and you accidentally grab the wrong thing. I just, I just love that's it. That's the only reason that's acceptable. <laughs> that that is the only <laughs> reason. It's Lo- the only example only where it's acceptable. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Lock, lock type Otherwise, product. you are absolute moron. The the article about this because you know you need to write an article because how common this is. Unstick yourself. <laughs> how to get super glue out of your hair? The scissors free method. Even with a buzz cut, <laughs> super glue can find its way onto your hair. Fear not, though. What may seem like a tangled disaster will become a minor inconvenience with this easy to follow guide on how to get super glue out of your hair. Why do we need this? How many stupid people are there? <laughs> but Unless again, you someone got it on, on there. You on a construction site. Yeah, maybe it was a and guy. someone's dropped the glue yeah. and it's fallen on someone's hair. Yeah. 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 Again, that's acceptable. Or like they've got it on their but, fingers and f- didn't realize and then rubbed through their hair. It is. I, I, give, I, give, it to, I give it to um, CJ. There is a lot of things that end up in weird places on job sites. <laughs> And it's yes. like, you don't even know it's on you until the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah. I'll... All right. Just a quick, uh, good, 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 feel good, feel good story. Yeah, yeah let's change. Uh, so Lego Braille, that's a thing now. Lego, which has Braille on it. You know, um, it's my, my brain went very um went very bad oh how are the pieces gonna stick together i was gonna say isn't all lego so, technically braille no because yeah but like it, it's braille in a certain it, way i mean it's, it it's it gibberish together. but it, it's it, braille it, 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 yeah yeah it, 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 if it's in different spots the um indentations they're not gonna be able to stick together the the indentations are tiny but wait, they're wait, big enough, can, big can enough see, for them to feel. Can I see the what? What, what does the Braille Lego look like? So if you look yeah, at what, that, I'm article. so lost. So can I you see thought that we day? meant Lego to represent Braille, not Braille on the Lego. For no, people there's Braille on the Lego. the Lego. There's Braille oh. on the Lego. So you have a brick, and then there'll be circles, and the circles are placed in different places. Uh, to I guess mean different words. Oh, because you can't put the braille on the inside or on the sides, can you? So then, yeah. Oh, how does this work? And what's lovely about this is that the visually impaired children and or people are loving it. Um, they get they do the kits as 
304 bricks featuring letters, numbers, punctuations, symbols in Braille, together with the printed version. They're giving them to schools for free of charge, um, schools that have students with vision impairment across... It's really good. Across the country, yeah, across are, Australia. Are you ready so, for like extreme cool. level of ignorance here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lego to me, in the way my brain works, is like kids engineering. Yeah. So if you were to to scale this to just the thought of engineering... If you're visually impaired to the point of needing Braille on your Lego, how do you engineer something? They can still... F no, it's, it's basically just to build the item. Yeah, it's just for fun. So they, so they can tell which piece is which. No, no, no I get I, like I understand the principle of why you put the Braille on there so you can uh, like, tell the difference between them. But what are you building off the back of that? Like having the awareness of what each block is. Like I, I again. No, this is so just what they've been doing. So ignorance. someone isn't here visual, says, "Isn't sight really important to the engineering process in general?" But you can get some kits where you can build like a house in the kit, a kit house or a kit something. No, so they're saying, and the a lot of these people aren't don't have to be fully fully blind. They could just have an impairment, visual mm. impairment. But so someone said, playing with Lego bricks sort of just turned Braille into a fun thing. Someone else said, you can be creative and make images and words. So they'll feel the they'll feel the braille and start just making words with it and just sticking the bricks down making words, um, yeah. So it doesn't have to be you know a house or t sort of particular. Yeah, no, I understand thing. what I understand what Alexander say. Uh, yeah, it's like yeah, it, it limits you. You can't make uh, Empire Strike Back like or um, what's another character you can't make uh, those big spaceships or anything with this braille can you like the sets the lego sets. the lego sets you won't be able to like no you just play dinosaurs with dinosaurs and just play with them yeah 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 i didn't yeah, even I think see, about like... that question i just thought i just thought oh there's braille these kids can feel it and then but then i'm like how can they visually see what they're making like, yeah, they can just make so they've got a board that they can stick it on, and they can see what's the word that they maybe want to spell or just. Yeah, yeah. like I can see this kid's like he spelled different words out, like on a flat plane. Um, yeah, I think it's kind of cool. Yeah, it is. It is. It's um, anything to stimulate the the or in, enhance someone's uh, experience. I like. Yeah, definitely, definitely. All right, so this week, what did we talk about? Can I see the list, please, Emma? Yes, this week we spoke about... This we talk, week we, about stole, kid, we talked kid about... Kid Strippers, right? That was, that was number one. Yep. What did yep. we talk yeah, about? Kid Strippers. Kid strippers. That was yeah, that's right, that's it wasn't horrible. strippers pole dancing for kids. We talked about... Strippers pole dancing for kids. Burial pods. Yep. I want to be a tree. Get, Does get anyone else want to be a tree? Kinder surprise yeah, tree. For, for adults. Or humans. And then we talk about quick math question and see, we just realized AJ was a genius. Yep. In Emma, disguise. Not so much. Uh, we learned about Gorilla Gorilla Glue. Uh, gorilla Glue. Mm. Do not use. Gorilla Glue. Yeah, do not use that either on your hair. Mm -mm. Uh, we learned about gypsies a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And some Lego Braille, which was, uh, that, was a, that was a great conversation, guys. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I feel one. like we should do another article on gypsies. That was fun. I think we should learn more about gypsies. I think we, we need to. We sounded very... Uh, we don't know enough. No. <laughs> we don't know hardly anything. Yeah. We should get a gypsy yeah. on the show. I feel like it. We should get Brad Pitt and ask him more how we, uh, how we discovered how to be... Uh, yeah. What was your learning Was process? he a gypsy or a prikey? Same thing. It's just Same different... Thing. Um, it's just derogatory. <laughs> the, oh, is it? The t the t shirts used to be Pikey with the Nike tick. It would be Pikey, just nick it. <laughs> <laughs> is that what it used to be? Yeah. It did not. Uh, are you gonna check it? D d d that was owned by the gypsy that had the Mercedes Benz. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't. He, he just even, uh, gyps, he even the term gypsy isn't 
is can be derogatory to oh, some so people what, what, what because is the proper, what is they the say, proper name? Well, because they say it's referred to as uh, the culture where it's just a wanderer who might be criminal acts rather than a subgroup. So what like would a race they, how would they like to be identified as? Well, I don't think that's across the board. I said it can be. All right, we'll find out on the next episode. All right, that's it. Of a big fat gypsy trying to figure out where they are. <laughs> See Podcast. you later, peeps. Bye. Bye. Peace. Yeah. Arrivederci. <sighs> Sayonara. Ciao. Ciao. I'll read oh. your